Greetings, I wanted to do a video to update about the head covering. I have not done that in a very, very long time. And this was the topic that actually spawned my channel to start with. So here is an update. Do I still cover? Yes, I do. You may not always see it in my videos because sometimes I wear it a little to the back. Um, nearly always have it on though, especially if I leave my house or will be praying in front of anybody or anything like that. But I do still wear it. It's been since 2001. I was not raised with the head covering concept, but it is something that I chose to start doing back a very long time ago. Um, some things that I wanted to talk about it today is, I assume that you're watching this video maybe because you're interested in it. Maybe you already cover, and if you already cover, you might find this a little boring, I don't know. But if you're new to the concept and interested in it, some things I want to encourage you. One, make sure that you look at the covering for not just a piece of cloth that it is. Some people start looking at it like it's a piece of magic or special powers or something like that. Now the scripture does say a woman will have power on her head because of the angels, or should have power on her head because of the angels, but I think that gets misinterpreted. I will try to go over on another video my feelings on that particular verse. But needless to say, I think sometimes people take that and make it into something that it isn't. So I think we have to be careful there. But I do think one of the biggest, biggest ways you can misstep with a head covering is to view it as the piece of cloth and not view the meaning of the scriptures behind it. I think that is very, very critical. And the most important thing that you can get right, and that I promise you will change your marriage, is obeying the headship order that is what that scripture is about the head covering is really just symbolic of that and this headship order is what's really really heart changing life changing and marriage changing it definitely changed mine for the better i have no regrets on that my husband is a beautiful wonderful man i love him to pieces <laughs> and he's so giving kind and sweet and submitting to him is super easy but when I first got married, I refused to have obey in my wedding vows. Big, big change in who I am today. Big change. And I have no regrets about who I am today. Not even a little bit. I very much think that it is by far in your interest to submit to the headship order as laid out in the Bible. So I encourage you, if you're thinking about the head covering, don't just view it as a thing to wear or a modest decision. Modesty's good. But that's not why we wear it. We wear it as symbolic of the headship order. So make sure you have the headship order right, or you're at least working on that and working toward it if you decide to put on the head covering. Because you don't want to wear the outward symbol of something that you're not doing or agree with. I have seen people who do, and I really don't recommend that. Um, other things I want to encourage you to do, make sure you get your husband's permission before you start wearing the head covering because it really can disrupt um, a marriage. You don't want to do that. You want to think of each other and put the other person first. Talk about these things. So talk to him. Pray about it. Be humble about it. Seek God's face about this before you take a big step. That way you don't do what many, if not most women do, is they put it on, they wear it for a while, and then they take it off. You don't want to do that. You want to commit to it if you're going to really do it. So make sure you're ready before you take that plunge. Another thing I strongly recommend is getting involved in some online groups. And choose them carefully. My experience is many of them are very fashion oriented. And that is, there's a time and place for that I suppose as long as vanity doesn't creep in. But sometimes you can focus so much on that that you miss the heart of things. And if you can find you a good group with some sisters in it who can really encourage you in your marriage walk, not just the, the fabric, encourage you in the things that really matter, that is awesome. I probably still wouldn't be wearing the head covering after all these years if I didn't have such a wonderful online fellowship of sisters that I've met in various groups over the years. I started off with back when Yahoo groups was still popular and a thing, and a few of those were super helpful. A lot of them aren't around anymore, but there's Facebook groups and things. So just, again, find you some that you feel like meet your needs where you are. 
and use the Holy Spirit's guiding and discernment to help you with that. Um, one of the other smaller tips, but it's still important, is try to pick you a style that one, your husband approves, approves of and likes because that will help tremendously if he likes it and he finds it pretty. But just find something that's comfortable for you to wear day in and day out. I went through a lot of different styles. I used to wear a very full coverage and I don't anymore. I have feelings and reasons why I stopped doing that. Again, that's something I'll probably address in another video. But I recommend something that's comfortable, something that doesn't pull and weigh you down, doesn't pull your hair out, doesn't make your neck hurt, things like that. Clips that don't rip your hair. I use wig clips sewn in under mine. Um, they're very, they're better than bobby pins, better than anything I've ever tried over the years. But find something comfy. Lightweight is usually a lot more comfortable, at least to me. I still try to wear something that's got good coverage, but it's not necessarily full. You can see this one goes back about there, so there's always that hairline exposed. I have a very high forehead, so yours may be different. Um, I'm sure ladies with a very low forehead, you can get by with different styles that I may not be able to do. But find what works for you. Find what's comfortable, and that might be different. Sometimes what's pretty or really, really awesome and maybe your favorite style visually is not what's comfortable on you. And, yeah, different people will have different needs there. But again, just find your comfy style that your husband approves of. Um, and last, but certainly not least, be prayerful about it all. So prayerful. You have to be, just have a humble heart about it. That is my biggest encouragement to you. Don't go at it like, you're 50 miles an hour at a brick wall. <laughs> Some people do. Just be prayerful about it. Be humble about it before you seek your husband's um, permission and counsel on it. Make sure it's something that you've really got right in your heart and you feel really ready for. There will always be an element of fear about it if you've never done it before. But honestly, in time it gets easier. It really does. When I go out, I really don't even think about it now. I just put it on and it's just kind of part of my... Part of me, part of my uniform, I guess. Most of the time, I forget. Yes, people do look at you out in public. Not a big deal. In fact, I don't even notice it much. Um, sometimes you'll see them glance up and kind of, the eyes aren't here, they're up there. You know, I don't really care. But occasionally people will ask curious questions. It doesn't really bother me, even though I'm a big introvert. I don't mind as long as they're sincere. And generally, I've not had anybody be too mean about it. So that's been a blessing to me. If anything, it's opened up good avenues of conversation. So um, don't let your fear of what others will think hold you back on that. The only one that I would be concerned about that is your husband. So all in all, I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. I will probably go into depth on more of these topics, like I said. If there are areas that you have questions about, or are curious about for someone like me who was not raised with head covering but has worn it not quite but almost 20 years now I'm pushing that so if you have questions please ask I'll do my best to either answer them in the comments or do a video to talk more about it thanks guys and have a really awesome day